ಇಸೆಟಿನ್ ಏಕಾದಶ ಸ್ಕಂಥ ಉದ್ದವ ಹೂ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ಮೀ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಿರ್ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಮೈ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಇಸ್ ನಿರ್ಗುಣ ಮೈ ಪ್ರಸಾದ ಇಸ್ ನಿರ್ಗುಣ ಇಸ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಟು ಅಬ್ ಯು ಈಸ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಅಬೋ ದ ತ್ರೀ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಟು ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಟಾಪ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಮೋರ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅಟೈಂಡ್ after that it is nirgunam it is infinite it is bliss it is brahmam it is anandam so called so how to identify a person whether he is a sattvic see it is very simple whether it is possible for him to come and sit to listen bhagavatam to listen to krishna whether he finds time to some some time to worship krishna is he ready to recite his names and do nama sankirtan is he ready to love others at least not to hate whether he is ready to share his love and belongings with others who is afraid why to say afraid why uh, to whom is mind never permits to do a small hindrance to others to any jeevan and who is always having tripti contempt and who is always lovable by all who is always submissive who is not at all having any proud or pride or ego is ready to bow down anybody even an ass even a dog even a deer even a pig because he never thinks that he is big than others in any way or any form those who are all sattvic so the sattvic nature of the persons can be identified by their krishna bhakti by their love towards is purana bhagavatam there are 18 puranas starting with vishnu purana and ending with shrimad bhagavatam bhagavatam is one of the most sattvic purana i can assure you in not any other puranas the vedanta has not been dealt as much as in bhagavata in bhagavatam everything bhagavatam talks bhakti yogam jnanam dhyanam nothing is left in bhagavata such a great purana also in a simple and enjoyable manner there are 12 books in bhagavata the 10th book deals with the leela of krishna parikshit is anxiously waiting to listen the story to listen to the stories of krishna even though the stories of ambarisha or the amrita matanam or the vamana avataram whatever it may be it was so liking to parikshit no problem no objection but he is keenly watching to sukha brahmam when he will tell about his lovable krishna when he will talk about krishna when he will talk about krishna the pratham shloka of the 10th book clearly tells that parikshit's anxiety is expectation he became patientless he lost his patient is asking shuka katito vamsa vistaraha bhavata somasurya yo ragnyam cha upaya vamshyanam charitam param adbhutam ho brahmanne oh my lord gurudeva so far you have explained about surya vamsam chandra vamsam the stories it was so excellent so nice no doubt but 
I am eagerly waiting for Krishna Katha. Please explain it. Why you want to start it? Why you want to short it? Please, please do it. You know one thing. When I was in my mother's womb, you know one thing. What happened? Daswatthama, the Drona son. He wants to kill me. He applied the most dangerous weapon to kill me. That is called Brahmastram. Brahmastram. Even God will not do anything against to that astra. Astram. It is the truth. Brahmastram. Nobody can stop it. A small baby I was at that time. Not even formed fully in my mother Uttara's womb. He want to kill me because if he kill me, then there will be nobody left in the pond of Vamsa. He want to kill that Vamsa. He want to destroy that Vamsa in itself. At the time, you know what my mother did. He went to Krishna. He bowed down to Krishna. He did surrender to Krishna. Pahi Pahi Maha Yogin Deva Deva Jagatpate. He begged to Krishna. Krishna, please save my child. Please save my child. What is this world? I can't understand. Who is going to who is going to who is trying to kill my child, you know? It's Aswatama. Who is Aswatama? Drona's son. Who is Drona? He only taught. About all the astras, all the techniques, techniques about the astras, all the techniques about the war, to my husband and my um, forefathers in my family, to my husband's father, to everybody. But his son is trying to kill me. Not only to kill me, to kill my son, to destroy that vamsa. Oh, I can't understand the world. Today, one, buddy, one, one person is friend to me. Tomorrow, he becomes enemy to me. The day after tomorrow, once again, he is coming to shake uh, his hands with me. What is this? I can't understand, Krishna. But be serious. It's very urgent. It's most urgent because that astram is coming near to me. I don't know what to do. It is like a very big iron. Iron pillar. And it is, a, and it is very, very hot. And it is producing heat, light. It's not at all possible for me to bear it, it, bear with it. Do something immediate. If you're going to say by this time, no, no, Uttara, it is your karma. What you did in your previous janmas, don't tell like that. If you are going to tell like that, I will tell you one thing. If any karma I did in my previous janmas, because of that I have to be killed. Let uh, I will allow you to kill me. You please allow the weapon to kill me, not my child. Please save my child. Immediately, our merciful and fine God Krishna, what he did, you know? Two things he is having in his hands. One, chakra. Another, the shank. The shank is the representation of jnanam. The chakram is the representation of the protection. Immediately he sent his Sudarshana chakra that it went inside the womb, it destroyed the Brahmastra and protected Parikshit. Parikshit here recalls that incident. Dronyasra viplushtam idam matankam. Matankam means the stomach. Dronyasra viplushtam idam matankam sanzana pijam kuru pantavanam. You know, Gurudeva, Aswatthama tried to kill me when I was a small baby in my mother's womb. You know who saved me? Krishna. He saved me. Why? Why he saved me? 